Wavetables are a crucial part of most modern synthesizers. They are also the essence of Massive. Being a popular synth term, we should first ask, what are wavetables? A wavetable is often wrongly described as an audio sample. This is partially correct as it does contain short audio samples in itself. But to be more accurate, a wavetable usually contains more than one audio sample or a table of waves, hence wavetable. Some wavetables contain basic waveforms that, when combined, create complex layers. Others, especially if they are supposed to emulate an acoustic instrument, may contain several different elements sampled from the instrument representing the attack of the instrument, characteristic transients, or a resonating body sample. What is the actual advantage of this technique? It was developed over two decades ago when available memory was counted in kilobytes. It was, in fact, quite revolutionary at this time, as it was not possible to use entirely sampled notes from an instrument due to memory limitation. Using wavetables, a very short samples, almost peaks, stored in the memory card could convincingly emulate acoustic instruments. Depending on the complexity of a particular synthesizer, these small samples can be fluently blended or modified in real time creating much more complex sounds than if we were using a simple waveform. So what can Massive offer to us in terms of wavetables? Its collection contains over 80 different wavetables from the very basic waveforms like sine, triangle, saw, and square to various combinations of the above and many other complex samples. Explaining the characteristic of each single waveform is well beyond the scope of this tutorial and would require quite an advanced knowledge of synthesis. That said, having this knowledge doesn't really give an idea of what a particular wavetable sounds like until you play it. The wavetables are grouped in a few different categories from basic to more complex. So let's play some of the waveforms. If you play them without tweaking anything, you will be able to hear the difference, but most largely sound very similar to each other. The complexity of each wavetable is hidden in the contained samples. Each individual sample has different frequency characteristics, and some frequency regions need stimulation, or modulation, to expose themselves. This can result in very unique and distinct sounds. In practice, each wavetable can contain unique results by modulating the wavetable position, intensity, or modulation oscillation. Now you will hear modulation of the wavetable position in several wavetables. What is actually happening when you hear the effect? Let's imagine all the waveforms as samples loaded into a multi-track project, our wavetable. Each sample is loaded into the same position in time, but on a separate track. We can only hear them individually as solo, and we cannot hear all the waveforms at once. The wavetable position knob acts as a kind of crossfader. It morphs between all the loaded parts of the wavetable. Massive's manual doesn't list the number of waveforms contained in each wavetable. When you test all of the wavetables, you can hear that some are much more complex than others. And actually, the number of waveforms can range from only two in a very basic wavetable to 128 and more in the most complex ones. Now let's move to the next knob that controls the intensity of a wavetable. Depending upon the specific mode, this control will give you a number of different ways to shape every wavetable. There are five different modes available from the small pop-up menu, just above the intensity knob. Each mode should be explained separately, as they are an important part of shaping the sound. Spectrum mode. In this default mode, the knob reduces the intensity of high-frequency harmonics despite the fact that there are different algorithms behind it. 
this gives it a very similar effect to a low pass filter. Bend plus, bend minus plus, and bend minus. By default, every waveform is being read with a constant speed over time. This can be changed using one of the bend modes. As an example, I will use a screenshot from Massive's manual. The mid table shows the original shape of the waveform that is being read in normal speed. The upper image, the waveform is compressed at the beginning and stretched at the end. In the bottom image, the effect is inverted. Formant mode. This mode